as a teacher, you're going to have the best plans, and you're like, I'm going to do this, and this day is going to go this way, and then so many things go wrong. Uh, you are limited by a lot of constraints that you have no control over. It would be awesome to have three hours to do this lab and this activity. Oh, hey, wait, your period is 50 minutes, so you're going to have to scale that back. It would be so great if all my students had an iPad, but they don't. Uh, or maybe some of them are broken or not working or the Internet is down that day or there's a fire drill or, 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 or. There's just things that you have no control over, and you can complain about it or you can put on good attitude face. So, week two of Fresno State's calendar was a holiday. Just was. So that necessitated that we did virtual class. So while maybe we didn't want to do virtual class so early in the semester, there was just a constraint that I had no control over, and so that is what we had. So I hope the virtual class was productive for you and you got something out of it. And remember, we learn so much more from failure than from success. So if there's things that you tried that you didn't feel you were successful at, first of all, there's no points in this class to lose, so don't stress about that. But hopefully they got you thinking about, well, what are you going to do in your classroom when things don't go right? How are you going to structure your class to help students who are struggling? Where do you build community? Where do students find help when they're lost? Um, so these, hopefully just a lot of ideas like what would you have liked to have had or liked to have seen that would have been helpful to you and how are you going to build that into your class. But also make sure, give the feedback back to us. You know, we're always trying to make the class better and we surely don't know everything and we don't do everything correctly and we just, and neither will you. You will make so, so, so many mistakes your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, twentieth year. You're never going to be perfect. You're never going to have the perfect lesson. So every day you reflect and you say, how am I going to do this better tomorrow? Just pick yourself up. Keep moving.